Introducing the Hardy Roof Tieback System, a readily available over-the-counter product that has been thoroughly engineered, tested, and approved to meet all code requirements. This product is easily installed by the framer during the course of construction, eliminating delays to your project. The Hardy Roof Tieback device typically attaches to two support beams and two blocks, the sizes of which are determined by the engineer of record. Any additional blocking, fastening of beam ends, and or strapping adjacent to the unit are at the discretion of the engineer. First, mark the tieback support beam locations onto the top plates while detailing them. Make certain that 14 and a half inches is left between the beams. After the walls are framed and tied off, set the support beams onto the layout marks. Proceed with the joisting operations, making sure that one of the beams falls on the joist layout. This will save roof sheeting. When joists are complete, install blocking. Attach four Ticos as shown to one side of each block. Measure from the outside wall to find the center location of the device. Install four by blocks or larger between the beams 14 and a half inches apart, making sure the Ticos are on the outside of the opening. The openings will always be 14 and a half by 14 and a half. Install 2x blocking a minimum of 2 bays at 4 locations. Align the 2x blocking with the outside edge of the 4x blocks. When joisting and blocking operations are complete, finish sheeting the roof. While sheeting, cut out a 19x19 19 19 inch opening at each location. This allows the tieback device to set directly on the beams and blocks. Pull up the plywood piece and lay it down at a 45 degree angle over the opening and tack down corners for safety. This also makes it easier to find each headout location later. Using a dolly, spread each device to each location. Pull up the tack down plywood piece and install the tieback device into the opening provided. To do this, insert a pipe into the eyelet to lift and set down into the opening. Again, strapping is at the discretion of the engineer. Make sure the eyelet is perpendicular to the outside of the wall. You can start rip strips and slope joists once the tieback units are set into place. More often than not, the 16 inch long tieback device will extend the required 8 inches above the roof sheeting. When the sloping members adjacent to the device exceed 7.5 inches, the 24 or 32 inch device will be available. The hardy tieback device is fastened from the underside. First, install three quarter inch by three inch SDS or WS screws into each block and beam at all four corners. Once all 24 screws have been installed, drill four 15 16 inch holes into the support beams. Hole locations are provided in the skirts. Do not drill holes into the blocks. Next, insert four 7 8 inch bolts from the inside of the tieback device through the support beams. Fasten each bolt using a 7 8 inch cut washer and nut. Tighten the nuts and the installation is complete. The Hardy Roof Tie Back System can be purchased at any HD Whitecap Supply location.